So what do you do for a living? I'm a software engineer. And how many years of experience do you have? Just one. And what's the average salary for someone starting in this role? I think around 120 to 130,000. So to get this job, what skills did you earn? Did you go to school, earn a certification? What worked for you? I got an undergraduate degree in computer science okay. and I got a master's in software development. So when you found this uh, job, what was the channel that best worked for you? Online application, your school career services or networking? Definitely networking. I got a referral to work okay. at my company. Uh, what advice do you have for someone who wants to kick off career as a software developer here in the Bay Area? Leak code. Practice a lot of leak code. Okay. That's really helpful. When you look for any job, what's most important for you? Job responsibilities, salary or work-life balance? Job responsibility is probably the most important. Perfect. This is very helpful. Thank you so much. So what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a sustainability consultant. How many years of experience you have? Three. What's the average salary in this role at your experience? It really depends on if you're working at a big company. So I work at a big four company. So I make six figures here. But um, if you work at a like not as big company, it's still around like 80 or 90, like that around. And what skills are needed for this role? It really depends. I think sustainability is a really wide range of things you could do. But for me specifically, I do data. So I do Excel and programming. And, but PowerPoint in general is really big in consulting. So, How did you get into this role? I had an alumni reach out about an opening and it was like around the time when sustainability was really big. I honestly got really lucky uh, and they were hiring like so many people so I just slipped in, you know what I'm saying? But my first job I just applied to a million places on LinkedIn and then just one reached out. I only had one interview out of like 50 or so that I applied to and uh, it worked out. What's most important for you in a job? Salary, work-life balance or job duties? I think job duties is most important. I I kind of left my last job because of that. It was like getting kind of boring and I was just like, well, I could just sit here and do nothing and make money, but... Yeah. Okay, this is very helpful. Thank you so much. What do you do for a living? I'm a software engineer. How many years of experience do you have? One and a half a year. And what's the average salary in this role for like entry level? In the Bay Area, maybe like around 140K like around here but in other areas uh, yeah the salary could be different okay. and how did you get into this role when i was in college i majored in computer engineering so because of my, my major i took some like programming courses and after graduation i just applied for like software developer jobs uh, i also applied some in the bay area because there are a lot of this type of job in this area so yeah i just eventually got here any specific website that you used I got this job from my school's career fair, okay. so I didn't use any like specific website. I guess you can use like LinkedIn. And what skills are needed for this role? Well, for my job, I think you need to know like some programming languages. Uh, for my job, uh, I mostly develop uh, websites, so it requires you to know like HTML, CSS, and like uh, JavaScript, and also just some like basic uh, computer science skills. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. What do you do for a living? Uh, right now, I'm just bartending and serving. And what's the average salary in this role for entry level and for experienced people? Forty dollars an hour. So it's a higher than that. It really, really depends on uh, your ability and where you work and the volume at your restaurant, stuff like that. Okay. How did you get into this job? Uh, I had a friend recommend me uh, to the restaurant I work at. And what skills are needed for this role? Man, I mean, I feel like for, for bartending and boat serving, you need good customer service. I think you definitely need to be able to talk to people, you know, and you need to be able to multitask because when you have like a lot of tables and a lot of people all at once, you got to be able to kind of like manage between that. Uh, what's most important for you in a job? Salary, work-life balance, or your job duties? But work-life balance is really big for me. Um, I don't really like, but, um, you know, at the same time, uh, it's important, you know, it's important to me that I get paid enough to at least live and, you know, that I enjoy what I do. This is very helpful. Thank you so much. What do you do for a living? Uh, I work in sourcing management. How many years of experience do you have? I have eight years in my current position. And what skills are needed for this role? You need to have good people skills. You need to have analytical skills. You need to be able to um, negotiate and understand contracts. And what's the average salary in your role? I, I don't know because I've been I've been in my position for for a long time and uh, you know it's probably high 100s maybe low 200s okay perfect and how did you get this job actually I, I started as an attorney okay 
but I was negotiating business contracts and I decided that I would go down that path instead. So I started focusing more on negotiations and review of contracts and pricing and things like that. And what's most important for you in a job? Salary, work-life balance or job duties? I mean, as someone with a job, I would say work-life balance. If I had no job, it would be salary. Okay. What do you do for a living? Uh, I work in finance. How many years of experience do you have? About three years. And what the, what are the skills needed for this role? Uh, you just got to work long hours. Okay. Yeah. And what's the average salary in this role? I mean, it depends what kind of role you work in, so it's it's very wide. It really depends what you do. So, yeah. Can you give a range? I mean, you could work like an entry level, like FP&A, like a financial planning and analysis role and make $75,000 a year. Um, you could be an associate at an investment bank and make three hundred, three hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Okay. It really depends on like what kind of role you're in, how many hours you work, what industry you work in. And how did you get into this job? I got into it right out of school. I basically worked a couple of internships in undergrad and then full time just kind of pursued the career. Okay. And uh, what's most important for you, salary, work life balance or job duties? I would say for me, it comes down to the areas I have passion in at this point. Um, I'd say beginning of the like beginning of the career, it's very focused on salary and compensation. But I think you quickly burn out if you're working very long hours, if you're just driven by money. And so, yeah, later on, it becomes more about the job duties and kind of where you want to grow into and less about how much you're getting paid if you don't have time to spend your money. Yeah. And so what do you do for a living? I'm a student at SJSU. I'm doing a master's in biomedical engineering right now. What career are you looking after your master's? So I'm trying to get into manufacturing engineering. I did an internship a while ago. I really liked it, so I like to do that. Uh, what's the compensation in the internship that you did? 25 to 30. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what skills are needed for this role? Um, I've learned about like, you know, statistical process control, a lot of like relevant stats. Um, you learn about kind of like, for me personally, I like learning about the processes, about learning how to shorten them, skill sets. I mean, there's some software that's helpful, Comsol, MATLAB, um, whatever is needed for your use case, yeah. And how did you get that internship? I applied through a professor at school and he knew someone there and I sent him my resume and that's that's how it happened. Okay. What's most important for you in a job? Salary, work-life balance or the job duties? I mean that depends on what stage in life you're at. Mm -hmm. So like when I plan on having children, I'm going to need more money and well or free time, whatever I can get from from the job. Right now, most importantly, it's I'm going to say money cuz we need to buy a house.